videos here in a little while, so let's uh, let's give it a quick shot here. Um, this one here, there's a uh, this new puzzle that's showed up on um, uh, Facebook recently. I think it's got like two or three hundred thousand comments already. Uh, pretty crazy, but uh, it's a real simple one. Fifty plus ten times zero plus seven plus two. Uh, but what I'm seeing is I'm seeing lots of really odd answers. A lot of people are getting it right. Um, they're getting the the correct answer is fifty nine. Um, but a lot of people are ending up with answers like nine. They're just solving left to right. And a few others are uh, um, they're also trying to do it, um, and they're getting the answer of 69. Um, a lot of people are confused, I think, on multiplying by zero. A lot of people are trying to add 50 plus 10. Uh, they're ignoring the order of operations. But I want to I want to just step through this one really, really quick. Um, got some better videos that go into more detail on the order of operations, but I wanted to spend a few minutes here uh, on this. Um, just a little background. I've got this in a few other videos, but uh, the order of operations convention allows for people all over the world to get the same answer. Uh, it's been around since the 16th century. Um, there's a lot of different acronyms. I like PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, and BIDMAS. Uh, basically, depending on what English-speaking country someone's from, um, those are pretty common acronyms. People might have heard those in school. Um, they all mean the same thing. They're all representing the same four steps of order of operations, which are, uh, first of all, parentheses, then exponents, solving multiplication or division left to right. Keep in mind, multiplication and division um, are basically the same operation have the same precedence. And then finally, you do addition and subtraction left to right. Um, so that's really how that works. Um, again, if you take 50 plus 10 times 0 plus 7 plus 2, uh, per order of operations, we would look for parentheses. Now, a lot of people get hung up here and they think, well, I was taught that if you don't have parentheses, you just solve left to right. And um, I have to admit, that's got to be one of the biggest myths and mathematics I've ever seen. I don't know where that myth got started. Uh, it's never been correct. Never. That's never been how it is. You don't ignore order of operations just because you don't have parentheses. In fact, we don't even have exponents here. There's no exponents. There's no parentheses. So you still have to do order of operations. Multiplication already has precedence over addition and subtraction. It doesn't need any help. Um, so the first thing you've got here is multiplication. So 10 times 0 is 0. Um, another common mistake I see is a lot of people say, well, if I have 10 pencils and I multiply them by 0, I still have my 10 pencils. So 10 times 0 is 10. Uh, man, I'll tell you, I think it was like ancient India that came up with the properties of zero maybe by the third century AD. Um, and it's kind of sad that in 2023, people still are confused over um, multiplying by zero. Multiplying by zero is saying, how many groups of something do you have? You know, if I have 10 pencils and zero bags, well, how many bags of pencils do I have? Well, I've got zero. You know, I don't have any bags of pencils. So it's not, there, there's confusion. I think a lot of people are confusing addition and multiplication. 10 plus 0 is 10. 10 times 0 is 0. You know, think of it this way. If uh, someone has a job, you know, and their job is to do whatever, and they're getting paid $10 an hour or 10 euros, depending on where you live, 10 pesos, it doesn't matter. Uh, but say you're getting $10 an hour, and you work zero hours, well, are you going to get paid ten dollars? No, you're probably going to get zero uh, because you didn't work any hours, you know. So you have to realize what multiplication is. Uh, I'm sorry about the long explanation, but I'm based on the comments I've seen, it's necessary. Um, so really, after you've done the multiplication, then your next step is to move. Uh, you don't have any subtraction; it's just addition. So it's fifty plus zero plus seven plus two uh, equals fifty-nine. Um, you can use a scientific calculator. Uh, almost everybody that has an Android phone, I, I don't have an Apple phone, an iPhone, 
um, but uh, most most of your Android phones they default for scientific mode, and you'll get 59. Uh, if you've got a Windows machine, I think this computer's got Windows 11. Um, a lot of times they'll default for standard mode. Um, it needs to be in scientific mode. You see here I get 59. 50 plus 10 times 0 plus 7 plus 2 equals 59. So calculators already know order of operations. However, if you use a dollar store calculator, a real simple calculator, or if your calculator app, say on your phone or your computer, is set in standard mode, uh, what happens there is though in that mode or those cheap calculators they don't have a memory to keep track of more than one operation uh, at a time so what you're going to find out is you're going to end up with the answer of nine and there's plenty of uninformed people who think well gee my calculator told me it's nine so that's got to be the right answer in fact the, the only thing that's telling them is they're using a cheap calculator that can only keep track of one operation. So what's happening there is that it's basically hitting the equal sign after every operation. So, you know, it's it's not. You're going to end up with basically 7 plus 2 equals 9 It is what you're going to end up with. And you, you can try that on a computer if you've got, uh, you know, got the ability to switch between standard and scientific. Um, and again, order of operations, it's been a thing since the 16th century. You know, there's textbooks going back to 1913, 1917. Um, it's not a situation where people were taught differently. Uh, if they were taught differently, then their math teachers really should have been kicked out for being incompetent, uh, bottom line. So um, I think there's just a lot of a lot of people haven't been in school for a while. Um, they don't remember. You know, it's not an everyday thing that people use, but I guarantee um the answer here is 59. Uh, i've got a few other videos that go into more detail on order of operations and, and some other things so uh, hopefully this has been helpful and uh, good luck